This video looks at evaluation of formulae with logs and exponentials in them. First of all, we'll have a look at how we use the calculator to write exponential and log functions into our calculator. And then we'll have a look at some examples. So, on the calculator, if we wanted e to the power 5, we would press our shift button followed by the ln button, which is the natural log, and then 5, because that's our power. When we press equals, we get 148.413. If we want ln 3, so this time we're looking for the natural log, we just press the ln button, followed by 3. If we press equals, we get 1.0986. Okay, two more examples. If we do 10 to the power 4, that one you'd probably be quite familiar with already. So you would have 10, then you would use your power button, which is normally an X with a little box on it, and then 4 for the power. And that gives us 10,000. And the final, which would be the, the equivalent of the log, so log to the base 10 of 2... This is the log button this time. So the log button on your calculator means base 10. So you only use that if you have a base 10. So you'd have log followed by 2, and that would be equal to 0 0.30103. Right, so using our calculator, we can evaluate the answers to log equations. And we're going to have a look at two simple examples, first of all and then um, two slightly more complicated ones for the last two examples. Example one. Evaluate e to the 4x when x is equal to 2. So our formula here is e to the power 4 times x. And obviously x is whatever value we are told to use. So in this case, it will be e to the power 4 times 2. So that's going to be e to the power 8. So you would be pressing your shift ln button followed by 8. And you get 2980.9. Example 2, evaluate ln 4x when x is equal to 3. So again, we're going to replace x with 3, so that's our substitution. So we're going to have L four, so our ln 4 times 3. You can put brackets around that if you want. Might be best to do on the calculator, so that's going to be ln 12, which is 2.485. Right, example 3. A kettle at temperature T, and that's in degrees Celsius, at small T minutes, cools to room temperature, which is T0, according to the formula, T small T is equal to T0, bracket 1 plus E, to the power of minus 0 0.05 T. It's asking us to find the temperature after three minutes, given that the room temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. So that means that T0, which is the room temperature, must be 20, and that small t must be 3, because that was the number of minutes. And we've been given the formula. So we'll do the working on the next slide. So I'll just rewrite the formula first of all. Right, and then we want to sub in our values. So we're still trying to find t small t. We said that t naught was 20. And then we're going to have 1 plus e. And our power is going to be minus 0 0.05 times 2. So we have large t, small t, so that's our temperature we're trying to find. It's 
going to be 20 times 1 plus e to the minus 0 0.15. And then into the calculator, we would do e to the power minus 0 0.15. And we find that that is equal to 0 0.861. So we have 20 times 1 plus 0 0.861. So we have our time equal to 20 times 1.861. So our temperature is equal to 37 point two two degrees celsius and we can actually call that t3 if we want because the small t we said was three so we could actually say t3 is equal to 37.22 degrees celsius and what I would like you to do is make sure that you have rounded that correctly. So in this case, I've rounded it to des two decimal places. It didn't specifically tell me to do that, but I've chosen two decimal places. However, make sure that you're rounding the number correctly. So if the third decimal place had been five or greater, that would have rounded up to 23.23. If, um, in this case, it's obviously been less than five, and I've rounded it down to leave it as a 2, so 0 0.22. Make sure you're rounding correctly. The final example, example 4. The resistance R in ohms in a circuit is given by R is equal to 18.2 times ln of Vd divided by Vd minus T. They want us to find R given that Vd is equal to 16.2 and t is equal to 12. So we're just simply substituting in those values into the equation we're given and solving. So we're going to have r is equal to 18.2 ln, and then we're going to have 16.2 on the top, and then we're going to have 16.2 minus 12 on the bottom of the fraction there. So that gives us r is equal to 18.2 ln, with 16.2 divided by 4.2. And we'll continue this on the next slide. So we have R is equal to 18.2 LM, and then 16.2 divided by 4.2 is 3.857. The next line we have R is equal to 18.2 times ln 3.857. We would work that out on the calculator and we get 1.350. And the final step is to multiply those two numbers together. We get 24.57 ohms. And again, we're checking that we're rounding that correctly for the value that we get in the calculator.